アメリカがチベットに関心を抱いたのは1950年朝鮮戦争が始まった年のことです当時私はディーン・ラスク国務次官補と話す機会がありました私たちが初めてダライ・ラマに出国すべきだと迫った1950年のことです私たちはダライ・ラマを共産主義の犠牲者の象徴として利用したかったのでぜひともチベットを離れてほしいと願っていたと言いましたラスクはいかにも南部人らしい率直さでこう答えました中国の妨げになることならいかなることでもするとね、まあ、それが私たちのモットーであり当時の目標だったのです I think basically the whole idea was to keep the Chinese occupied somehow,、uh, keep them annoyed, keep them disturbed. Nobody wanted to go to war over Tibet.、Uh, that's pretty clear. We didn't go to war over Korea and we didn't go to war over Indochina. We weren't going to go to war over Tibet. And so it was a nuisance operation. Basically, nothing more. And I would think that from the American point of view, It wasn't going to cost us very much, <clears throat> either money or manpower. Anyway, it wasn't our manpower involved, it was the Tibetan manpower. And we would be willing to help the Tibetans become a running sore and a nuisance to the Chinese. The anecdote I like to tell about Alan Dulles was the fact that they asked me to go up to the director's office and brief him on what was going on in Tibet. He says, Now, where is Tibet? <laughs> We stand up on the leather couch in his office, and he has a National Geographic world map up there, and he's pointing to Hungary, and he thinks, is that Tibet? <laughs> I said, no, sir, it's over here where the Himalayas and, uh, <laughs> <pretty cool. laughs> it turned. In 1980s, the name of Gyaro Tondup was the name of the Dalai Lama's 14th grandfather. 情報活動というものはダーティーな仕事です私はそんな仕事ばかりをやってきましたなぜダーティーか諜報活動というのは規律がありません考えは変えるし人を騙すし嘘をつきますからねだから私はダーティーだというんです Basically, the operational utility was no longer there. It was pulling out of support for His Holiness, and the, it was, you know, we were starting a rapprochement with China. And it was a new, if not made a direct Chinese request, it was a, the U.S. relations with Tibet were something that would, would, would be certainly considered by that time to be somewhat of an impediment to relations, to the close relationship that、uh, the government was trying to、uh, initiate with Beijing. Operations like this can't last forever.、Uh, you either achieve your objective or you don't. And if you don't, you've got to cut it and, keep, and、uh, you know, make a clean cut and walk away.、Um, you might be able to, as you leave,、uh, give what one, somebody called a surge funding. You give an extra couple of the year's worth of funds and say, okay, here, we have to leave you.、Uh, goodbye. Thank you for the, all you've done for us. And,、uh, but this will keep you going for a little bit and, and you know, find some other source. It's very hard ever to take a moral calculus to this kind of thing. I mean, there were human lives lost in this. And uh, uh, I, have, I, I have no answer to that. I suppose everybody, you know, to, likes to look back and try and justify what he did. I think I made some mistakes. I think I misunderstood, misappreciated, and didn't、uh, understand completely the whole complexities of the thing.、Uh, but all I can say is my intentions were good. Unfortunately, our history as a government. has more、uh, sad stories and sad endings than it does have good stories with good endings. Generally speaking,、uh, I think the agency、uh, looks at Tibet as having been one of the best operations that the agency has run. Well, that's fine. That's very complimentary. But however, look at the final results. <coughs> Excuse me. 
That's a very sad commentary. If we look at what we did to Tibet as about the best that we could do, then I say that we have failed miserably.